So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a Fortnite montage on Filmora 9. And what are we going to be talking about is how to sync up the music, how to add transitions, effects, elements, and titles. So we're going to be talking about how to do all of that. So once you go into your uh, Filmora 9, what you're going to want to do is go right here to this little um, screen. Press that and press change project aspect ratio and once you do that make sure it's at 60 fps make sure it's at 60 fps just lock it not press ok so once you do that you want to get all your clips ready all your stuff ready and yeah so just press this press this and what i do first i get my music ready so this is my music right here so let me just open and my music pops up right here so what you're going to want to do uh, how to add it to the track is just drag this down to right here and as you guys can see my music's playing everything's playing so yeah my music's playing and all that so that's how you do it you can make a smaller you can make a super small you can make a big like super big but i like where i can see the music like like that so next thing if you want to sync up the music if you want to sync the music all you have to do is just wait for the beat so wait for the beat so let me turn up mine wait for the beat wait for the beat right there and once you do that at the beat press m um, I don't know if it'll work. Um, just press over here this, this, I don't know, it's my, f oh, it's the music. Let me take out that, um, delete. And right here, right here, right here. M. And it'll pop up right here, it'll pop up right here. And if you don't see it, if you don't see it, that means it's on your music. That means it's on your music down here. So, as you can see, it's right here. Uh, and then boom right there where the where that little mark is at so you won't forget so uh once you do that once you sync up the music you could do all of that um once you like press that once you press that um folder or badge i don't know what it's called you want to get your clips ready and all of that. So what you want to do is right click this and press import. And whatever editing app, you, I mean, thing you use, I don't know what you use, but I use metal. This is mine, metal. And these are all my clips. So let me use the clips that I haven't used. Um, let me try to, um, let me try to go down. Um, let me see this clip real quick. Let me see this. Is this good? Um, let me see if this clip is good. So I could see. Let me just see if it's good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So once you get that in, uh, what you want to do is just drag the clip onto the timeline. So once you drag the clip onto the timeline, just put it right here at the end and put 60 FPS. And, and it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. So like that. So if you want to sync up the music. So if you want to sync up the music. All you have to do is just drag your clip. And just like put it like, like where the kill happens. So like right here. Let's see if I get lucky. And where the kills at? So let's see. Okay. So let's move this a little back because it's not right there. Okay. Let me just move that a little bit more back. Let me just put that right there. Okay. I put it back so I could see if I could sync it up.
kind of like that. See, it's perfect, like. Okay, that's perfect. It's at the beat, and yeah, it's at the beat and everything. And if you want to trim it, if you want to trim it, all you have to do is, as you see right here on the side, you could trim over here and over here. So let me just, I want to trim over here. So right here, all you have to do is just pull wherever you want, like whatever you don't want. So let's say if I don't want this, I don't want that. And it automatically cuts it, and it's shorter. See, watch. So shorter. And if you want it, yeah, it's shorter. I like that. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to fix this again. Let me just put that right there. Yeah, that's the thing you have to be careful because you have to you have to um like you have to move it around sometimes, so you have to like fix it sometimes. Let's put this a couple back like that right there. Right there? Okay, like right here. Let's see if this is perfect. Ooh, perfect. That's better than last time. This is perfect. This is perfect. And if you want to slow it down, if you want to slow it down, all you have to do is just go right here. And it says right here, you can do fast and slow and reverse and, all, and custom speed. That's what you can do. And if you and if you don't like the color of it, you could change it to any color. You just have to press this paint, this paint, and it could be like this. It could be like this, like any color, like this, like this, like that, like that. I mean anything. So, but I like it like this because it's better. But and then it's already there. It's already there. So. Um, so that's how you do syncing, and that's how you do, um, that's how you do syncing, and that's how you do the, um, trimming. So, trimming, and all of that. So, next thing we're gonna do is go to titles, titles, and you can add any title you want. You could do, I like, I like to do this one, like, right here, wait, let me try to find it. I like to do these, because it's on the side, so what I, what I picked was this one. So just pick it, and as you can see, it'll be like this, right? And your text here will pop up. So what you're going to do is just double clip it. Uh, I'm not double clip it. Double click it, and you could, te you could change it. So just say... Don't, f oh shoot, don't forget to subscribe. And boom. You can do text color, anything like this, and okay. And you can adjust it where you want it, and just right here. Boom, you're done. And you could just move it. I like this better than, Premiere Pro is better, but I like this because like it doesn't have that much buttons. Premiere Pro has so much buttons that you have to press, but you th you don't even have to do that. You can move it around. Like, you could put it all the way over here. You could put it all the way over here. And if you want to trim it, all you have to do is, like, last time, trim the clip like that, and you can do all of that. So, like that. So, it's in the beginning of the clip. And it pops up. Don't forget to subscribe. And boom, that text pops up. And, yeah, you could do all of these, too. I mean, you could do all of these, but, yeah. So, we're done with that text. And next thing, we're going to do, um, we're going to do, um, transitions. This is, like, one of the best ones. Transitions are the best ones. Just try all of these transitions out, okay? So, let me get a clip real quick. Let me get a clip. Let me get a clip real quick. So let me find a clip that I think will be good. Um, let's say this one. Let me watch it. Let's see if it's good. Oh, this is a good clip. 
I popped off that game too. So what you want to do is drag the clip to the timeline like this. And yeah. So let me, I want to trim the clip. So let's say if I want it right here. So I trimmed it. And let's put it right here, right next to the clip. So it'll be like this. This is how the montage is looking right now. So let's see how the montage is looking. Don't forget to subscribe. Like that, okay? So, we're done with that. Once you're done editing clips, all of that. It's time for transition. So, there's so much transitions you could do. So, it, there's all of these. You could do cube. Let me show you cube. Cube is actually a good one. So, what you're going to do is just drag it and put it right in the middle. Put it right in the middle. That's it. Just put it right in the middle. Just put it right in the middle. And it'll be like this. Let me turn on the volume. So it'll be like this, watch. See, it'll be like that. So the cube, as you guys could see. See, you just want to put it right in the middle. It doesn't matter. So let me just delete this. And you could add other ones, so let's, I haven't tried this one out, let's try this one out. Here. Let's try it, let's see this one. There's a whole, there's like a hundreds of them. So let's see this one. See, there's so much effects that you could do. But let's try, um, let's try this one. I haven't, I haven't, I don't, I haven't tried any of these, but I tried all See, there's so much effects that you could do, and all of that. That's all you have to do. There's, that's all you have to do. So I like let's do um, let's do this one right here. This one's good. This one's actually pretty good. I tried it before. So let's do this one. See, like it twists around. So that clip is actually good. So, once you do your transitions and all of that, you're good. So, next thing um, is effects. Effects. And you could do all of these effects. You could do glitch. You could do, um, you could do, um, wait, let me try to find it. Shake. There you go. Shake. You could do shake. So, shake is, like, probably, like, a good one. Shake is good. You could do all of these, but... For a like a montage, you need you need the shake. So let's do this one, this one. So all you want to do is just drag it and just put it right here. So let's see let's see if I can put it up there. See if you don't like it, just right click it and just press delete. So it's kind of like moving too much. So let's put it like that. Oh, see, perfect. See, let's just adjust that, like, right there. And let's just adjust that, like, a little bit right there. And then, like this. Let's start. Let's start. But you could do all of these, too. Um, there's a whole bunch, of, whole bunch of other ones. And there's uh, overlays, I think. Yeah, overlays and glitch and all of that. There's glitch and all of that. So, once you're done with, uh, um, ways, was it elements? It was effects. So, once you're done with effects, you're good. Like, you have your montage almost ready up. You're, you're good. You could edit, like, flea on here, too. You could edit, like, on flea. You could edit, like, flea. So, if you know how to edit, like, flea, this is, like, the right app, too. And this is a, f this is a, um, element. So, the I like I like this one because you could do this watch you could do this watch so I like this one because like like the video but I don't think this is subscribe no there isn't a subscribe but there's only uh there's only a like so if you want to do that you could add the like 
So, as you could see, like this. Let's just adjust it. Let's adjust it like right there. So it'll be like that. So you can see the clip too. So the text will be right there on the side, and the like button will be right there. So it'll be like that too. And then, yeah, it could be like that. So you could do all of these. So, yeah. So once you're done with that, um, you could do. So once you're done with that, do splits. Um, we're gonna go to split screen. I don't know what this is, but I think you could like like edit like flee two on this. So what you're gonna have to do, wait, if you could actually do this. I don't know how to do this, but I do know how to like I don't know how to do that, but I do know how to do the other ones, but I don't know how to do that. But yeah, this is like this is probably the stuff that you could do with your montage. That's how I did my montage, but I hope you guys like this video and subscribe, but um peace out guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and go follow my Twitch. Peace out guys.